Hello, I'm Dr. Luke and um, I'm a chiropractor. I've been doing chiropractic on humans for 24 years and back in November of 2010, I started coming over here to see Dr. Chang and work on his clients and their dogs and what we found out that, well what he found out is that um, dogs responded very well towards chiropractic. He always believed in chiropractic and uh, he, when he found out that chiropractic works and we started working with some of his dogs, um, it just opened up avenues towards us adjusting dogs. And so we started adjusting dogs here in January of this year, uh, 2011, and um, uh, the dogs have been responding very, very well. Uh, we got disc injuries of some dogs that were just dragging their okole on the ground. They can't even lift up their legs. And um, now the dog's running around out here today. Uh, they're reporting to me that they're running with the other dogs and going upstairs. Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm an employee of Aloha Animal Hospital but also a pet owner and a client of Dr. Luke. Um, he's been doing chiropractic adjustments on my dog, Penny. She's turning 13 years old um, this July. She's a Labrador Retriever, so um, she is a super sweet dog. Um, one thing as she's gotten older is she's just had a lot of problems with arthritis and mobility um, to the point where she wasn't able to stand up on her own with our hardwood floors. Um, she couldn't go downstairs very well and couldn't go upstairs. And you know, with the specialized diet that we had her on JD, which was really helpful um, to an extent, but even with daily pain medicine and anti-inflammatory medicine, she just wasn't, you know, getting better. So Dr. Luke started working on her and doing these treatments twice a week. Um, and I did see improvement. You know, I didn't have to help her up as much as I had had to. And um, she's able to place her feet better as she was going down and upstairs. Um, you know, she was more active and seemed to be doing better. So it's been really helping a lot. How long has it been now? Uh, she got a twice a week treatment for about two months. Um, well, I think it's about two months. And then we stopped it. Um, because, you know, over the holidays I was out of town and, and there was a two month um, period where she didn't have any treatments and I actually saw her start to decline. Um, hmm. So I'm not sure which part about it, what he does that, you know, is helping but, you know, just the stretching and, you know, it's exciting for her to come here with me to the hospital each time so it's been really good for her. Great. Dr. Luke? Hello. <laughs> so we're back. Um, so I'm right now. I'm palpating Penny's spine, and I'm looking for joint fixations and joints that need to get mobilized, get it moving so that the nerve flow can get increased inside of her spine, inside of her body. That way, her body can start to heal itself and just bring it back closer to normal. So normal function can occur within her nervous system and the rest of her body. One thing I would say about chiropractic adjustments um, that I've noticed through my dog, Penny, um, you know, Dr. Luke touches all of her, you know, sore places. So, you know, her, you know, her stiff shoulder and her stiff hips. And so often she'll, you know, you know, kind of, you know, wince a little bit or seem to be protective over that part. And you could understand, right, you know, someone that, you know, her parts that have never been touched there or moved in that way, Dr. Luke is touching. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, we're going to start adjusting here. Okay, Paul, let's have you sit down. Sit. Emma. some lung action on that. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then we're going to go right in here too. Okay. Good. 
His neck is really rigid, yeah. Really rigid. Okay. Boy. He's a good participant here. <laughs> Switch sides. Luke and what we're doing here on Penny is we're using cold laser therapy and cold laser therapy accelerates the soft tissue healing in the cells of the soft tissue, increases the ATP production and generally gets rid of the swelling and uh, increases ATP activity which speeds up the healing anywhere from uh, a third to a half of what uh, normally happens. So yeah.